All right, here we go. We're gonna do a density test. Explain to them what you're doing here. We got to, got the pin at least six inches, eight inches deep. So like that, you can see the machine. We got the moisture in compaction. All this is got to be in. Now we got to wait uh, for the record, and uh, we're gonna get uh, the moisture and compaction. We got to be 95 plus. 95 plus. Yes. And you already did your proctor test. Yes. So that tells you what you got to be on your moisture to yes. to get to that point. We got a uh, on this case. We got a uh, 11.5 on moisture. Okay. With a 119 on, on compaction, we got to divide whatever is the machine with the proctor result. Hey, you did pretty good at explaining this. So, on this case, we got a, we got a 13.5 on moisture. My rating, give me, 97.5 uh, compaction. compaction. So we're 2% high on the moisture, but we're over on uh, the compaction. The average on the moisture is uh, plus minus three. Plus minus, so we're within? Three, three down, three up from the uh, from the optimum moisture. Okay. On this case, it's 11, 11 11.5. We can go up to 14.5, or we can go to 8.5. Okay. So that's a passing spot right yes. there. Yes. Okay. Awesome. I appreciate you sharing that. How much that unit cost? Uh, I don't know. Eight, ten thousand dollars The problem is you got to get a license because it's a, it's a radioactive machine. Yeah, yeah. I, I, so on this one, you got to get your uh, license and a um, bunch of uh, regulations, how you can use it, how you're going to do it, uh, how you carry it, you know. Right. What you can do it uh, with the machine. So like that, uh, uh, If you got in safe, the police can catch you, FBI, and uh, you going to jail. You lost your license, and uh, it's yo. I promise you, the day I die, I will never own one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of things uh, to to get this this machine. Is it's not the cost. It's how you gonna do. Handling. Right. To perform the nuclear distancy test, first you have to come to the job and do a proctor test. That's where they take a sample of the soil, they go back, they put it in a cylinder, they whack it 25 times, they put it in the oven, they bake it, and then they tell you what the optimum moisture content for the soil you're using. It is important that you use the same soil from the same pit to help keep the cost of the testing down. The proctor test takes about three days to perform, but after that you can get your density readings and compaction immediately on the job site. And after that you got your, your final report complete, you know. Right. It passed or failed. Now this is the third time you've been out here. Yes. So we good here? So we're good, two out of three. They normally like to take three at a random spot. You see, I have no influence where he walks, talks, or anything like that. So his job is to find it and give the customer.
Yeah, we look, we decide where we're gonna take the, the spot because sometimes the customer says, do it here or do it over there. We got to do it uh, on some place because uh, the purpose on it is to find the compaction on, on, the, on the pad. Right. You know, maybe some spot is more hard than the other one, but uh, that spot is not for D, you know. Right. It's a, if it's some uh, soft spot, you got to continue work on it. I'm a firm believer in having the lab out to test. When we put the concrete down on this job, probably run about $350,000, $400,000. You want to know that the foundation's right. You don't want to have to come back for stupid shit. These tests cost about $500 a trip. So you have the proctor test, and then you have three lifts to do. We got about two grand to cover your butt. I can personally tell you this man has tested more foundations than I've seen. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Everyday job. He gets up every day, he makes sure I do my part right and the customer's getting what he's paying for. See the little radioactive? Yes. See the radioactive on it? That's why you gotta be licensed to carry it. I had a friend of mine work for a paving company one time and he carried it and his boss told him if he got in a wreck, jump out, grab it, and run. <laughs> he said, I don't care about anything else, but grab that box and run. <laughs> one time on, on 225, some uh, uh, technician, uh, if something happened, they lose the machine. So they uh, closed the freeway. Uh, the FBI, uh, police, uh, fire department, everybody come to the, to the job site and to find uh, what, what, what happened with the machine. So they take it very seriously. So they closed the freeway. Called the FBI and all that until they found the machine. If something happened, we're gonna call uh, our office, call the police, FBI, every everybody is involved. This this is real serious. I I got a big fine. Uh, I can go to jail. And the company pay a, a big fine. Huge fine. So we got to uh, make sure. Like uh, every five years, we'll take a class. Okay. How how we're gonna use it? How we handle it? How will you uh, will carry? You know, and it's not a. Uh, I I finish my job, and I can go to the three and leave the machine here. I cannot. As soon as I finish, I got to put on. You got to put it back up. I guarantee you, spend a day with that man and you'll learn more about your job and be a better at your job from the knowledge he has in his head. We good? And that's how you pass it. Now this was your third trip out here? Yes. Okay. We got tested three links. All of them passed. It passed. It was okay. Will Will ready or uh, you're ready for uh, for uh, drill beers, concrete? Yep. Three bars. Now he'll be out here, as you heard him say. <coughs> he'll be back for the drill piers, the rebar, the I concrete. See. see how you got this chained in take this seriously.
Yeah, I got that locked. The police stopped me without this. I got a big ticket. So I got to lock it. On both sides. I got changed, I got yeah. locked. Alright. Well folks, that's how you do a density test. The compaction. See you on the next one. Peace.